Google has just released this open source coding agent powered by Gemini 2.5 Pro. In this video, I am going to show you how you can get started with it and what are the capabilities of this coding agent. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. This new coding agent is called as Jules. It is an advanced autonomous coding agent developed by Google and now available in public beta. Unlike traditional code assistants or co-pilots that offer line-by-line -line suggestions, Jules function as a full-blown agentic assistant capable of understanding the broader context of your code bases. It operates asynchronously, meaning it works independently in the background that allows developers to focus on other tasks while Jules handle complex development work. Integrated directly with GitHub, Jules clones your repo into a secure Google Cloud virtual machine where it can safely analyze, modify, and enhance your code without compromising privacy or security. Now, this is totally dependent on you if you trust that or not. With Jules, developers can assign high-level tasks such as writing tests, implementing new features, fixing bugs, updating dependencies, or generating audio change logs. As I said, it is powered by Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is one of the most advanced LLMs for code reasoning. Jules is trying to bring some cutting-edge AI capabilities to real-world software development. The good thing is at the moment it is totally free, but of course with some usage limits, but down the road Google plans to introduce some pricing because of course if they are provisioning a new VM in their cloud, it costs money and they really cannot give it for free. And I'm, uh, what I have seen so far, the limitation on its usage are quite limited too. Anyway, so let's get started and we are going to try it out. Make sure you have your own free Google Gmail account. So go to their website and from there simply on the right hand side, click on Jules. Once you click on it, you will be presented with this screen where you just have to um, accept it or continue. You can just say, you know, just click them or not up to you and then click on continue here so once you click on continue you can see that from here you can connect to your github so let me connect to my github account i already have this github repo where i already have few things lying around so i'm just going to connect uh, it with my username and password and maybe an mfa token and there you go as soon as i have given it uh, my authentication code i am already connected to various repo in my own github where i already have a lot of stuff like cloud formation python and then few of my own stuff here so maybe i'm just going to select any random one and then we will go from there i'll just go with pocket llm and then this is a main you can go to any branch and then you can just simply um check that describe this repo and then maybe you can say give me a plan and you can check with it i believe it is now yep you can see that it is booting up the virtual machine which is a cloud instance in google cloud gcp so let's wait okay and you can also enable it the notification but i'm not going to enable it So let's wait for it and while it does that let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are matrix matrix lets you create a realistic world simulator where you can run repeated simulation as a b tests for your marketing captions that allows marketers to test different angles and strategies and i will drop that link in video's description so vm has been created and now uh, it is asking you to approve plan if you don't it auto approves in around few seconds and hopefully it is going to approve it it is approving the plan i will let it run for a bit so that you could see what is happening at the moment there you go so it is uh, working on it and i think it has already rewritten my prompt and then it is a 
uh, well i don't know i haven't asked it but maybe this is sort of an auto suggestion which has generated anyway let's wait for it to come back and after a few seconds you can see that it has completed the describing my whole project and on the right hand side it has created a new read.md file and you if you want you can publish it or uh, you can downgrade it uh, also you can see that this is a readme which it has generated and this is the branch now you can opt to uh, whether go for it or not okay next step i am just in this new repo and here i am just going to ask it to create me a complete python project for a task management cli app with various features and then there are various features and then i'm also asking it to create all necessary files and code for this project so let's run this i will wait for it and it seems for every task it boots up boots up a new vm and it seems that it has drafted this plan you see step by step this looks quite good talking about task manager if i click on it it doesn't show me any details yet but i think here there you go very nice and it took just a few seconds to generate everything here and then it is talking about running these unit tests pretty cool supporting files all of these review and refine and then it has already approved it and then it is working on that so i will wait for it and then we will see what it does but so far i'm quite impressed and this is pretty interesting that uh, this market is uh, is heating up we already know that anthropics cloud 3.7 is quite good uh, they already have their agent openai has codex mistral has just released devstral and we already have various other coding models from alibaba and few others so coding is one area which has really really improved a lot i would say in the last few months it is still working through various files and we can also check it if we go here and code is almost done it has also created these unit tests as you can see and if i look at the code the code is actually quite good quality i have been reviewing few of the code snippets here and there all of these task manager and stuff they are very very well formatted uh, very well instrumented you can just by reading by command you can tell what exactly it is doing and you can see for example on this task manager code it has everything what we asked it for even data persistent methods are there there you go the unit tests are done i guess it is creating now supporting files and also on the right hand side i believe these are all the uh, artifacts which we can check out from here so this are these are the git ones this is a main file i'll just scroll through to show you to see very very well written these are the task one with all the object oriented classes and stuff this is a task manager which we already saw and then few other tidbits here like unit test and stuff very impressive so far and it has created the project it is also talking you know um, you see in the yellow it is fitting for my input here but where do i give the input i can't even i can't paste anything here maybe i'll just go here okay maybe it is still typing so i'll wait for it to come back and at the very top i don't think so you can see it on the screen it also displays a banner that it is experiencing very high load so there could be increased latency anyway i will let it run and then i will approve it whenever it comes back but look i'm very impressed by jules no doubt about that and this graphics looks pretty cool too as i said it is as good as the rest of the lot and the good thing which i really like i really like about it is that that it has the whole context around the whole code repo which is always required for serious enterprise level coding and especially it is very useful where, where you have legacy repos scattered all over the place and their tentacles are spread all over and i think this is what it this octopus is 
uh, what it is representing i think this is very very valuable there there are a lot of other use cases which you can use it for but i think a very good effort from google that's it let me know what do you think about jules if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching